One of the most important elements of a personal monitoring system is the earphone. Even the most premium system can be ruined by a low quality earphone. The three main types of earphones available on the market today are earbuds, custom molded earphones, and universal earphones. Earbuds, such as the type that are sold with MP3 players, are generally inexpensive, but they usually have very poor isolation and are not designed to withstand the rigors of use and live performance. Custom molded earphones provide excellent sound isolation due to the fact that they're made from a custom mold of the user's ear canals. However, the process for getting these molds made can be costly and time consuming. Universal earphones attempt to combine the isolation and sound quality of custom molded earphones with the versatility and out of the box convenience of earbuds. What makes them universal is the use of interchangeable sleeves that adapt to the performer's ear canal. These sleeves come in a variety of materials and form factors, allowing the user to choose one that works best for them. The most common sleeves come in foam, rubber, and triple flange. It is also possible to obtain the same sort of custom molds used on custom molded earphones as a sleeve for most universal earphones. Some earphones use multiple transducers to separate different parts of the frequency spectrum, allowing them to be optimized to provide higher output and clearer, more distinct sound. You will often hear these referred to as multiple driver earphones, as in dual driver, triple driver, and so on. One of the biggest complaints people have when first using sound isolating earphones is that they block out sound from the audience and other band members. Earphone manufacturers counteract this by offering ambient earphones, that bring in outside sound either through electronic or acoustical means. Another solution is to place an ambient mic on stage and add it to the performer's overall monitor mix. It's important to note that safe listening practices need to be applied even when you're using PSM. It would be a shame if the very thing you were using to help protect your hearing ended up causing hearing damage in the long run. Here are a few tips to help you operate PSM in earphones safely. Use an isolating earphone. The benefit here is twofold. Not only does an isolating earphone separate you from the loud stage volumes, but it also allows you to keep your personal monitor mix at a safe level. If you have to turn your monitor up to compensate for excessive sound bleed from the stage, you will do even more damage to your hearing than if you went without earphones at all. Many performers attempt to compensate for that feeling of isolation from the audience by only using one earphone and leaving the other ear open. This can be even worse than using non-isolating earphones because, once again, to compensate for the sound on stage, you will have to turn up your monitor mix so loud that one ear will suffer damage twice as fast as the other. Choose only PSMs that include a limiter and never disable this function. Sometimes, unexpected sounds can occur. If someone unplugs a phantom power mic or there's a sudden blast of RF noise, it can be the sonic equivalent of a gunshot to your eardrum. Limiters will not adversely affect audio quality and help you avoid the damage from these unexpected noises. If you experience a compressed feeling, like having cotton stuck in your ears, you might have what's known as temporary threshold shift, or TTS. Ringing in the ears, also known as tinnitus, is another symptom of TTS. One can recover from TTS, however it is very easy to suffer permanent damage. The effects of TTS are cumulative, if you ever experience any of these symptoms, turn it down. As a performer, you rely on your ears to make good music. It's just as important to take care of your hearing as it is your gear. Most audiologists recommend that you get your hearing checked at least once a year. In the next video, we'll discuss how to set up a PSM system.